Hey guys, Melinda here. Uh, welcome back to my channel if you are a subscriber and welcome to my channel if you are new. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Trader Joe's haul, um, a GNC haul, a CVS haul, and a Giant haul um, for you guys at the beginning of this video and then later in the video I'm going to be baking uh, two different muffin recipes that are two points each. One is a pumpkin cheesecake and the other one is a double chocolate. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Let's get into what I got. Uh, so I'm going to start with GNC since they're right here. Um, I got the Alani Fit Snack Bar. Um, I got five different flavors. Two are new to me um, and I wanted to check them out so I got a couple of each. Uh, the Blueberry Muffin, um, the Confetti Cake, and the Chocolate Cake. These I've had before. They're all really good. Um, and they are five points a piece. The new ones that I got, I got Munchies, um, which is like a candy bar kind of a taste. Uh, and then the Cookies and Cream. And these are both six points. I have not tried either one of them. I was tempted in the car. Lord knows I was tempted because I like anything that tastes like dessert. Um, but I have not eaten one yet. Uh, but I will update you guys and let you know how they are once I do. Um, so that's what I got at GNC. I stopped at a natural market near my house to pick up two kombuchas. Um, this one is golden pineapple. And then I got pomegranate power. I'm going to try having some kombucha. Probably about half the bottle um, for a serving for me just because I'm new to kombucha and I'm not really sure how it's going to be with my body. Uh, but one of the Weight Watchers YouTubers that I watch, she does kombucha every day and loves it. So I thought I would give it a try. I was influenced by the influencers. Um, I went to Giant and I got some muffin cups, um, some pureed pumpkin. This is for the pumpkin cheesecake muffins, um, some reduced fat uh, cream cheese, also for those muffins. And then I got applesauce, which goes into the double chocolate muffins. And I got some whip. Uh, I always have whip around because I cannot have my dessert without whip. I don't know about you, but I need it. And then I'm not sure how this ended up in there. <laughs> but I got this uh, Lily's uh, Peppermint White Chocolate Style Stevia Sweetened Candy Bar. Um, I will put the points up. Uh, what it what it is, but it's uh, 120 calories per serving or 330 per bar. I'll probably knock it into four or five servings. Um, just being honest, I wouldn't eat the whole thing. Um, I used to be able to eat the whole thing like that, but not anymore. So um, I just wanted to try it out. Not a huge fan of white chocolate, but I am a fan of mint, so I will give it a shot. Um, for CVS, I picked up my favorite gum. It is the Icebreakers, Ice Cube Cinnamon, and then I got Ginkgo Biloba, and I got fish oil, the odorless fish oil. If you're going to take fish oil, which is really good for your heart, your joints, and your skin, get the odorless ones. If you get the odorless ones, you will not burp fish oil. If you get the regular ones, you may burp fish oil, and it's not the greatest taste. Um, but they had a buy one, get one free special, so I got those. And then my Trader Joe's for the week. Of course, the chips made another appearance because we have taco salad on Tuesdays and we need chips for those. I got two bags of salad. I also got this really cute bag. I thought it was adorable. Uh, I got the usual suspects, which is the uh, Parisian cucumbers. Also another suspect, I got the Fancy Shredded Light Mexican Cheese Blend. I talked about that in my other video. I got some more of the Spinach and Kale Artichoke Dip. Yeah, I'm sorry. Spinach and Kale Greek Yogurt Dip. Um, my husband and I both really like that. I got some more of the Some Enchanted Crackers. These are my favorite crackers. You can have four for four points on all plans. Um, yeah, they're so good. A serving is two crackers. So they're basically one point a piece. Um, and then I got some of 
this seltzer water to try. Um, it is a rhubarb and strawberry soda, and it is made with tart rhubarb and sweet strawberry juice. And these are 60 calories a serving. So they're probably going to be one point can, I think. I'm not sure. It has some sugar in it, so probably a pointy can. I'm probably going to count it as a pointy can if I count it at all. I mean, it's seltzer water. And then the last thing I got is I got these um, almond windmill cookies. Uh, Jen from Jen Weight, Jen's Weight Watcher Journey. I'll link her YouTube down below. Uh, she got these, and they reminded me that they had these um, when I was on Weight Watchers years ago. That's how long this particular kind of cookie has been around. It's been around a long time. Um, but they had these, and I used to love them. Um, and I think they were pretty point-friendly, maybe. Two cookies is 130 calories, so that's not too bad. Um, but I thought I would give them a, trot, a shot and uh, have a little snacky. And I got more salt and pepper, because he always had salt and pepper. This is a great price for the... Um, Pink Himalayan sea salt and the ground peppercorn. They're $1.99 each at Trader Joe's. So if you have a Trader Joe's near you, look for spices because it's way cheap. Um, and last but not least, I got some za'atar. Um, this is kind of like a Greek seasoning and I thought it would really be really great to put on like chicken. Um, so yeah, and it is zero points because most spices are zero points. And that's what I got for my haul. Oh. I lied. I had something else um, from Lowe's. I picked up some nails. Um, I had some different nails, but they didn't have the flat top on them. Uh, and I couldn't hang some decor that goes on my wall that I've been working on. Um, so I picked up those. And then I picked up this beautiful little angel to go in my window. Um, and... Uh, it doesn't say what kind of flower it is. I think it's a hibiscus flower, um, but they do love lots of light. And I have a huge living room. My my whole front of my living room is window. So I think it'll do really good in there. It's got some nice little blooms on it, some beautiful color on there. And yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. It was um, only $12. I was really surprised and it came with this cute little pot. And that is all I got from my little outing today. Um, so... Let me put this stuff away, get it all situated, and we will make some breakfast okay. muffins. So we are going to do the pumpkin cheesecake muffins. Um, for this, you will need one and a half cups of Kodiak cake, uh, buttermilk flapjack pancake mix, or crusties. I did not have either, but I do have something similar from Trader Joe's. This is the buttermilk protein pancake mix um, from them. Let me grab my measuring cups. From there, we need one cup of pumpkin puree. Um, I had pumpkin puree left from when I made some cookies, um, so I'm just going to plop that in here. It takes about a half a can, um, so you can make double batches if you want, or you can do like I did and put the rest of your pumpkin in the fridge and use it up. Um, I make protein cookies as well, so uh, okay. Then we need two large eggs. Actually, I don't need that today. Plop those in. Need one tablespoon of vanilla. Quarter cup of water, which I forgot to grab. 
So again, a quarter cup of water. Um, I didn't have pumpkin spice, so I just made a little bit of my own. You can Google uh, your favorite way to do that. And we need a teaspoon of cinnamon on top of the pumpkin spice. And now we need um, a third of a cup of zero point white granulated sugar substitute, um, which I am going to be using the generic version of um, Splenda. Uh, you can use whatever tickles your fancy, but I enjoy this one a lot. It's relatively inexpensive compared to the other one. teaspoon of baking powder. So let me grab that. And that is all for the actual muffin part. And then as soon as this is incorporated, um, we will, let's see, what does it say to do here? Mix it together and then mix it, the cream cheese mix. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this up. You wanna make sure you mix it really, really well because you don't want a bite of baking powder. Looks a little thick. I might have to judge it a little. Maybe not kind of the consistency of pumpkin bread, maybe a little thicker than pumpkin bread, if you've ever made that before. It, I think it needs a little thinning, maybe some egg whites. My eggs were a little small, let me grab that. Up. I'm just going to add a little blob Bloop, like that. Just kind of loosen it a little. It's a little tight uh, for a muffin, so that looks a little better. I think they're supposed to be thicker muffins anyway. Um, it doesn't say how many it makes. I think it only makes six, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so now that the mix is done, it should look like that. I'm gonna set that aside, and we're gonna make the cream cheese. So you need three ounces for our food scale down. I'm gonna put it sideways like that. I'm gonna turn it on with your bowl on it. And then you're gonna change it to ounces. And it's now in ounces. Some people put the whole package on and then just deduct off and put it in the bowl. I do it the other way, um, just cause I get, I get too confused the other way to be honest. Okay. So I'm gonna go in a third. There's a marking on the package, so it should be good.
off by just a tiny little bit. this off to the side. I will wrap that in a ziplock. And then we want to put in two tablespoons of the same granulated sugar that I just used. I'm going to kind of eyeball that because I don't want to contaminate my spoon. Uh, or my tablespoon is already contaminated. I don't want to contaminate my sugar. And then we need a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Good thing I bought a backup because I'm almost out. That's all she wrote. Perfect. And it says to whisk it, but I'm just going to fork to it because this cream cheese is very, very soft. Um, I had to do some traveling to get back home, so won't take too long. You just want to make sure that you get it looking kind of smooth like frosting. You don't want it to have lumps in it, otherwise you're going to have plain cream cheese in some spots and you will have sweet in others. Okay, let's see how many this makes. I'm going to dry off my measuring cup that I had the water in because that's what I'm going to use to see how much we can do here. Okay, so about a quarter of a cup is what you're going to want per muffin because you want room for the cream cheese in there as well. Oh, let me move you guys. Please do not judge my silicone pans. They are very old. And I use a, just a little mini spatula. This one's from Halloween to kind of get it out of the um, out of the cup because it is a little sticky and it does look like this is going to make 12. So actually it might make more than, I, I don't know. We'll see. I hope that these are semi as good as like the Starbucks cream cheese or like a dupe. Um, cause that would be very, very exciting for me. A little much. I am a ex Starbucks barista and um, very much addicted to their desserts. Uh, I don't eat them anymore, but when I was not worrying about what I'm eating, um, I was very much addicted to the pumpkin cheesecake muffins and the um, cranberry bliss bar when it came out for Christmas and also the lemon pound cake, because that was year round. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so um, I've all, I'm always on the lookout. I know that it's a recipe for cranberry bliss bars um, that are Weight Watchers friendly. 
Um, I haven't made them yet, but I have seen the recipe floating around the internet. I might do, you know, like a recipe showdown with um, dupes of, you know, famous places. So like the Starbucks cake pops and things like that. See what I can come up with for a lower point version. And I'm a little short, so I'm just gonna scoop some out because we are gonna be putting that icing in there as well, a little dollop in each one. And I think these are gonna rise pretty good. Um, so we're gonna make it work. They smell good. Don't be a pickle pickle. Come on. Sometimes paper liners just do not want to cooperate. Okay. Need a little bit more out of some of the other cups for these last two. But I think I did good. So. This one's a little full. So we'll take them out of him. Take a little out of this. Then we're going to scrape the bowl, so we should be good there. Ooh, that tastes good. Mm. And don't judge me, I eat raw, I eat raw dough. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this a little tiny bit and put a little bit on there. I don't think you need a lot. Um, you just want a little piece of the cream cheese on there. My dollop is small because it seems like there's a lot. <laughs> and I think you can do a little bit bigger um, dollop. <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, so we are going to bake them at 350 for 18 to 20 minutes until the cheesecake comes out clean. And then we will allow them to cool. So I'll be back. A few moments later. Okay, so we're gonna take these out and we are gonna test them. the other ones in there while I test it. I'm going to test them with a fork because I don't know where my toothpicks are. And it comes out clean so they are done. these cool and then we will see how they are I'm not gonna eat any right now um, probably we'll wait until tomorrow so I'll have to update you um, but yeah and then once I get my instacart order for the other ones we will make some more muffins so we are back to do the double chocolate muffins and I need to get my muffins and so where are they Muffin cups.
And I'm assuming this recipe will make 12 like the other one did. Oh, hello, Alexa. Oven at 350. Forgot to turn that on. I'm sure you could use, you can do the muffins in the silicone baking, um, uh, baking pans, but, uh, without the, the covers in them, but I, these are old and they're kind of losing that slick thing. So yeah. Um, So you need one and a half cups of self-rising flour, which I already have because I use it for um, pizza dough or making uh, two ingredient dough bagels. Two thirds of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. One cup of the uh, granular sugar substitute. And then one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. And then I'm going to whisk that together just to get the clumpies out because the cocoa powder tends to clump. Oh, it smells good already. Okay, then you are going to need two eggs. No show. Okay, and then you need three fourths of a cup of almond milk.
slow that I'm almost fell off. Half a cup of applesauce unsweetened. Whoa. That was almost an accident. That looks kind of, looks just like brownie batter. I thought you could use it as brownie batter and just cut it into 12 pieces. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Okay, and then you're supposed to add 10 tablespoons, which is about a half cup of um, chocolate chips. I'm using the Lily's dark chocolate chips, the mini ones. light little spray across the top just in case. And pop these in. And 15 to 17 minutes until the uh, fork comes out clean. And it does say 18 muffins, so these are going to be three-point muffins or so-ish, because I did 12. 
Okay, and now it's time to check our muffins. You can smell them. These are still a little gooey, so I'm gonna put them back in for a couple minutes. A few moments later. Okay, so I'm back to see if they are done. They looked done last time, but they weren't quite done in the middle. And they are this time. Yay! Ouch. Take a look at those. Yeah! I'm going to charge three points each because they are considerably larger since it was supposed to be um, 18 of them and I made 12. But they look so good. <laughs> 